What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to episode 15 of Assembling Arsenal. It's been three or four days since the last one, so today we have tried to get as much in it as we can. I have actually done some trading. I know it's taken me a little while to actually get around to doing it, three or four episodes since I've really done a good chunk of it. But I made about 15, 20k there, it didn't take me too long, it was just a bit of a rush deal. Uh, but it is better than nothing and we got a good chunk. It was using the usual method of minimum... Uh, bid of 8,000, maximum bid of 14,000 and a minimum buy now of 18k and then just seeing what it comes up with and trying to win a few on bid. So before we get into the first game, I do quickly want to say is if you want a fast, reliable and trustworthy coin service, check out utcointraders.com. There's a link to them in the description down below. Anyway, in this first game, we are obviously still using our usual team. It's the last game of this uh, season of Division 1 if we can win it and we are playing against a team in the snow, which I hate, 352 Serie A team and the first half was ridiculously boring. That was the highlight of the half. That shot there, nothing happened whatsoever. But um, as you can see here, from what really did go on, I kind of was the better of the two players in terms of shots. But in terms of possession and stuff like that, he had me beat. Then just after the uh, second half kicked off, got very, very close to scoring with that free kick. And if I'd been quicker reacting off the rebound, perhaps I could have made it 1-0. But didn't take too much longer after that for Podolski to go out wide and get a very, very soft free kick there. And uh, managed to get us a little free kick right on the edge of the box, which I gave to Podolski, who whipped it in onto the head of the leaping Dejuru, who made it 1-0 for us 50 four minutes in. Great start. We needed to get the win to win this division and it looks like we were going to do so. Schmack here playing a ball through which was very luckily played back out to Chambo who uh, cut back in and played it across to Rosicki who absolutely banged it off the post and then, and then refle <laughs> deflection again off the post. I don't know how I didn't score either of those two. His goalie uh, and the post definitely saved him there. Should have been should have been 2-0 for sure but uh, shortly after that a ball was played through to him and I couldn't deal with it at all with Jenkinson and Cavani absolutely wellied it home to bring it back to 1-1. One, one. It was starting to look worrying. I, I needed two points from two games to win the division and it looks like I was only going to get the one from this one now. And uh, we slotted Chamber through who in the end just drilled it across to Podolski and I kind of wanted to make sure that I just got the win. So I banged it home with him and made it 2-1 and that basically was the end of the game and that won us the division. That meant we went in at the end of the game 2-1 up with uh, the Podolski and Juru goals for us and the Cavani goal for him. Uh, as you can see in a second it shows us winning the title and uh, I forgot that you actually get a pack for winning Div 1. So um, I don't actually show me opening it, but at the very end of the episode, I do open it and I didn't get a a single thing of any of any value, but uh, we went into the next game with our usual 4 1 2 and 2. Centic is all playing out wide to rest Walcott. Uh, a couple other little changes. I think we had Schmack and Podolski up top to rest uh, Giroud. And we got up against this team, which I couldn't help but laugh. He was clearly a massive Man United fan with Fergie as his manager and a Liga BBVA team with the love of almost every Man United fan's life. Uh, team of the season, Carrick, right in the middle, just ruining everybody's chemistry. And it, it did give me a little giggle because I know someone who is. An absolutely massive United fan. Lives in Wales but goes to every game. And yet he will he loves Carrick beyond like any reasonable doubt. I thought I was playing against him to start off with. But uh, yeah, they really do love themselves a good Carrick. But uh, we, uh, they, he took the lead, the 1-0 lead. And uh, it looked like it was going to go from bad to worse here. As Benzema scored a second for them in the 30... I'm not sure if that's the 35th or 36th minute. But that made it 2-0. And I decided I really had to start playing seriously. Now, we threaded through. Podolski did a lovely little bit of move there to drop the goalie out. And then dink it into the... Uh, the bottom little corner as the goalie was nowhere to be seen as we had completely destroyed him moments before and then Shortly after kickoff, after it being 2-1, we won the ball back uh, and then uh, just went straight with it with Shamak, got himself through on goal and uh, ran past the goalie with a nice right analog stick touch and made it 2-2 within the space of 30 seconds at the end of the uh, first half. rather, And that meant we were now on for a draw and we could kickstart uh, this part of the division on nicely. He, once again, had had more, sh uh, had far fewer shots but more possession. I was watching TV on a different monitor at the same time, so I didn't have the best concentration, but the game still seemed to play out quite nicely for me. We made it 3-2 here straight after the uh, the kickoff of the second half and it looked like we were going to get our first win in the next season of this division. Schmack again got very lucky with a bounce here and uh, we just ran it down the wing, whipped it in with Schmack on to the head of uh, Podolski who made it 4-2. The game was starting to look like it was uh, 
gone with the wind. Here, Podolski again picking out Chambo, who I think whipped it in onto the head of Shamak this time. Uh, no, Rosicki, who dinked it in again. That made it now 5-2 or 4-2, one of the two, but we were miles ahead. It was 5-2, yep. Yeah, he did pick up a consolation goal here from a corner, but it was ridiculously lucky. Went under the goalie, and then our player slid underneath the ball. Ridiculous how that managed to sneak in, but uh, we finished it off well and truly in the 85th minute. The option for the tramp goal was on, but we decided to round the keeper with Alex Oxley chamberlain and dink it into the open goal and made it 6-3, an absolute storm annihilation there. And uh, Podolski picking up three, Chambo, uh, Rosicki and Schmack picking up one each. And uh, it finished 6-3 to us. We did make a couple changes this time, bringing Walcott back in, bringing Giroud, Cazorla, Javinho, um, Koscielny, I think, back in. A bunch of changes to uh, freshen up the team and go to one of our stronger stronger 11s. And uh, sadly, it didn't really work out too well. We came up against this very nice Serie A team. We have Team of the Season Diamante, Team of the Season Borja Valero, uh, Inform Cavani, Inform Hamsic, Inform Handanovic, Inform Samuel, and then a bunch of other really good players too, like Robinho and some good pace ones. But 25 minutes in, we actually took the lead there with De Juru, looking like it was going to be a nice, easy one for us. But then his goalie absolutely wellied it up the pitch. He did an amazing job to keep it in. It dropped to uh, Ferreira, who played it out to Robinho, who played a lovely cross with his weaker foot right into the danger area. And my defender just couldn't seem to get his head onto it. And Malek Hamsic made it one all and uh, he had had one shot on target scored from it we'd had nine shots all nine on target and only scored the one frustrating the amount of domination I'd had in that first half and not been able to capitalize on it as in the second half it didn't work out quite so well we did manage to take a 2-1 lead here with Podolski absolutely welly in it past the goalie into the top right hand corner but that 2-1 lead obviously was not solid enough for us as he played it out wide to Palacio here and I think he really started to turn it on here. Diamante scoring a beautiful goal there with his stronger left foot. He's so good back in the centre mid. And then he scored, uh, got another one here with Diamante. Picked it up down the wide and drove in from the byline and gave himself another lovely little goal there as he banged it into the bottom left-hand corner. Diamante picking up both of their two goals in the second half. And by this point, it was now 3-2 and I'd gone ultra attacking to try and pull it back. So very nearly scored there with Podolski. Had that gone in, this game would have been a completely different outcome. But he got a really lucky penalty there. I was on ultra attacking. Just think if I'd pulled it back to free all there that would have been how it would have ended because I would have gone back to balanced or defensive held the win out but uh, instead we had to sit on ultra attacking and completely wasted a great chance here to keep our very very good record going but uh, he ended up finishing it off 5-2 with that lucky penalty and then uh, some shocking defending there by me allowed Balotelli through for an easy final goal so a bit of a sad way to end the episode a 5-2 defeat when it easily could have been 3-3 or even better from how we started the first half but we're still looking very good we've still got the one win just the one loss in this division and our record overall is 34 2 and 5 not bad at all but that is the end of this episode guys next episode i will have done a bunch more trading and hopefully we can pick up some new players maybe even another in form so thanks as always for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye